In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Vector Validator. Now, the Vector Validator is intended to help find issues with contours after file imports that are stopping toolpath creation, such as overlapping vectors or contours and intersections. The tool also indicates zero length spans. So let's have a look at how it works. So if we go into the Vector Validate tool, which is found under the Edit Objects part of the Design tab, you can see at the top here it says if there is no selection, all visible vectors on the current side of the current sheet on visible layers will be validated. So that means currently everything is looking okay because we haven't selected anything to check if there's any issues with them. So I've got some imported vectors over here. So let's have a look at what we get when we look at these vectors. So I'm just going to click my left mouse button and drag over this rectangle with the circles in. And I'm just going to hit search selected. Now, right away, you can see it's found 88 overlaps and 176 intersections on this particular circle. So clearly there's an issue with this circle at the moment. So let's address that. So let's just close out the form for one moment. Now, it's saying it's got some overlaps and some intersections. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually come to edit um, after highlighting my circle. And I'm just going to get to edit selection and select all duplicate vectors. And you'll notice now that I've, if I zoom in, you can see the dashed pink line over a black line. So what that's indicating to me is that there's a duplicate vector. So if I click onto that vector again, and I move that using the transform mode, you can see I've got a duplicate vector. So let's delete that. And now let's go back into the vector validator and let's have a look at our vectors again, search, and now you can see there's no overlaps and intersections because we got rid of that duplicate vector. So you can see how powerful this tool is. It because while on the surface these vectors look like they were ready for toolpathing, clearly they were not quite ready because we had duplicate vectors there uh, that could have caused some issues. Let's have a look at another example. So I've got this shape in the bottom right corner of my worksheet. So let's just highlight that and click search selected. And you can see I've got some overlaps and some intersections. Now let's zoom in to have a look at these. So you can see that I've got the red square here that represents overlaps and the intersections with the lighter square with the red border around it. Now let's zoom out and let's have a look at what is causing these issues. So again, let's close out the tool with our vector selected. We'll go to edit, selection, select all open vectors. And you can see now we've got some open vectors around the sides. And if we highlight this again and go to Edit, Selection, and select all duplicate vectors like we did on the previous circle, you'll notice that my red outline stays intact for the rectangle. But you'll notice that these two vectors here are highlighted in pink. And that's because they're duplicate vectors. So just to highlight that, if I right mouse click and I can move them to a new layer, and I'll call this new layer duplicates and I'll give it a different color as well. We'll make it blue. And if I turn off this red layer and you can see I've got my duplicate layers on and th these are my duplicate vectors. So if I turn that layer off and turn the red layer back on, you'll notice the same vectors are also there, but because these are the original vectors and the ones on the blue layer are the duplicates. So you can see how the vector validator is quite a powerful tool because on the surface, again, these vectors look like they were ready to use. But you can see clearly there was an issue in that there were duplicate vectors. So let's now go back into the vector validator and look at what this vector looks like now. And we've got some intersections here. Now, if you recall earlier, when I had these vectors selected, I went to Edit, Selection, and I went to Select All Open Vectors. Now. Why we have the intersections here is because we have a set of open vectors. Now, what it looks like one closed vector, this is actually four individual vectors. You see, if I click off of the vectors and click them individually, they're all individual vectors around this shape. So if I were to try and use a profile toolpath here, which is what I wanted to do, it wouldn't run around the outside edge completely because they're all individual vectors. And then what I want it to do is to run around the outside edge. So go all the way around in one pass, but it won't do that because currently 
they are all individual vectors. So what do we need to do to um, fix this? So if we hold Shift on the keyboard and left mouse click all of our open vectors, we'll come over to the Join tool, which is under the Edit Objects part of the Design tab. I'm going to set a nice low tolerance. And you can see at the moment it says we have four open vectors because we did have four open vectors. And there'll be one closed vector after joining. So I'll click Join. That is now one closed vector. So again, we can go back into the uh, vector validator. We're going to go to our duplicates tab actually, and we're going to actually get rid of that. So we we'll turn off our red. We'll delete our duplicates. We'll turn back on our red layer, make it active, select our vectors, go to the vector validator, click search selected. And now the only intersections we have are where the closed vectors are overlapping. So you can see here, if I simply take these vectors and move them out of the way, and I search again, there are no more intersections. So you can see how powerful this tool really is, and you can see how while your vectors may look correct, it's always a good idea to use a vector validator when you're importing any sort of data so you can check uh, it is correct before going to toolpathing. Now you see there's one final option here in the vector validator, and it's called v-carving mode. Now when this option is checked, the vector validator will perform its vector checks as it is executed and required for v-cutting or v-carving. So for example, it will ignore intersections that may exist within text, as this may be due to top problems in the font. So if you get intersections that involve text, you could try soldering or welding the text together and then run the vector validator on the output. But you can see here, I'll give you an example. If I highlight this text and I click Search Selected, immediately I get 10 intersections because there's sections where the text overlaps. If I zoom in and show you, you can see the E overlaps into the L and the L into the C and so forth. Now when I check v-carving mode, as in telling it I want to v-carve this text, when I hit search selected, I don't get any issues. And that's because it's recognized that I want to v-carve this, so I'll be cutting inside of the text bounds when I come to v-carve it. And now let's look at our final example. Let's look at how to look at for a zero length span. So let's close out of this, reset our view, and we're going to come up to import a bitmap or vector. So let's select our zero span example. We'll turn off our layer for default and we'll select our text here and we'll click on the vector validator, click search selected, and right away you notice we get a zero length span there. You can see it up here and this is the uh, logo for it and you can see that the zero length span is one. So what's happening? Well, let's close this out for the moment. Let's go back into the text here and let's go to node editing mode with N on the keyboard and you can see what's happening is there's a node effectively sat on another mode so you've got a, a zero length span there so it's two nodes that are sat on top of each other so how do we fix that well, we can manually fix that by joining up the vectors or we can simply hit escape to come out of node editing mode reselect our text come to the vector validator and when you search selected and it knows that there's a zero length span, the software can actually fix it by fixing the zero length span. So we can click on that button, it'll fix it for you. If you search selected again, there's no more zero length spans. And that is how to use the vector validator. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.